Hi, and welcome to Digimerge TV. Today we're going to show you how to get started with Digimerge's Synchro IP series IP cameras. The cameras are OMVIF version 2.1 compliant, and there are a number of compatible client and server VMS video management software options that you can use with these cameras, some of which include support for Android and iOS apps. Visit www.digimerge.com for a full list of compatible VMS softwares and NVRs. In this video, we'll be demonstrating setup of Digimerge IP cameras using Synchro V. Synchro V is a client software included free with Digimerge Synchro IP cameras. It supports the full features of the cameras, including multiple recording options. This video will cover how to physically connect your IP cameras to the network, IP camera setup using Synchro V over a local area network, setting up remote connection to your cameras over the internet. Additional videos will cover some of the more advanced features including recording, motion detection, and alarm. First we're going to show you how to physically connect the cameras to your network. The cameras all come with the same four termination cables. Use the RJ45 Ethernet connector to connect the camera to a router or switch on your network using Cat5e or better Ethernet cabling. An RJ45 coupler is included to connect the male connector to the male end of the Ethernet cable you will use for installation. The RJ45 Ethernet connector supports power over Ethernet using a Class 3 PoE switch to simplify installation and eliminate the need for power adapters on each camera. Alternatively, the DC power connector can be used to connect a 12 volt DC power adapter or power supply to the camera. Make sure to follow the correct polarity when connecting to DC power. The cameras also feature audio input and output cables with RCA termination to enable two-way audio and audio recording using a microphone, amplifier, or speakers. Once you have connected the cameras to your network and to power, you are ready to get started with Synchro V and connect to your camera over the LAN. If you prefer to use one of the other compatible software packages, Follow the instructions for your VMS or NVR server software to get started. You can find Synchro V on the CD provided with your camera or visit www.digimerge.com to download it for free. After installing Synchro V, double click the icon on your desktop to open it. The login screen appears. Enter the username and password for Synchro V. By default, they are both admin. Click login. Synchro V opens and scans your local area network for connected cameras. The IP addresses of your cameras appear in the device list on the left side of the screen. The cameras use DHCP by default, so they are automatically assigned an IP address by the router. Click a camera in the device list to open it. Enter the username and password for the camera. By default, they are both admin. Click Continue. Click and drag your camera to the display area to view the video for it. You can now view and configure your camera over the LAN. Next, we're going to show you how to connect to the camera over the internet using Synchro V. It's important to understand that Synchro V is a client-only solution. This means that it can connect to your Synchro IP cameras over the internet, but it does not act as a server. Each of your cameras must be individually configured for remote access using the following steps. To set up remote access, start by port forwarding ports 80 and 30001 on your router to the camera's IP address. If you are setting up remote access for multiple cameras, you will need to reassign the port numbers for each camera. Two cameras cannot use the same port. To reassign port numbers, click Device Manager, then Video Device Management. Click the camera you would like to configure, and then click Device Hardware, then Device Port, and reconfigure the Control Port and HTTP Port, and click Apply. Note that if you change the HTTP port to anything other than 80, you will need to include colon and HTTP port number if you want to connect to the camera using a web browser. The other ports are used for special applications only. Click Apply. After port forwarding, you will need to find the camera's MAC address, which is used in the next step when we set up DDNS. To find the MAC address, click Device Manager, then Video Device Management. Click the IP address of the camera, then click Device Info. Next, register the camera for a Digimerge DDNS. 
we provide a free DDNS service to assign your IP cameras a permanent web address. Open a browser and go to ddns.digimerge.net. Click Create Account and fill out the form to create your DDNS account. An email will be sent to your address with your account details. If you have multiple cameras on the same LAN, you can use the same DDNS address to access all of them, as long as none of the cameras are using the same ports to connect to the internet. Now we will enable DDNS on the camera. Click Device Manager, then Video Device Management. Click the camera you would like to configure and click Network Service, then DDNS. Check Enable DDNS. For Provider, select Digimerge underscore DDNS. For Domain Name, enter the domain name you received from the confirmation email. For example, tomsmith.digimerge.net. For Username, enter the username from the confirmation email. For Password, enter the password from the confirmation email. Click Apply. Finally, we will set up remote connection to your IP camera over the internet. After enabling DDNS in the camera, it is recommended to wait about 15 minutes to make sure that the server can locate your network's IP address. First, install SyncroV on a computer outside of the local network where the cameras are installed. Open SyncroV and click Device Manager, then Video Device Manager. Click Manager. Under Device IP, enter the domain name from the confirmation email, for example, tomsmith.digimerge.net. Under Control Port, enter the camera's control port. The default is 30001. If you want, under Device Name, you can enter a name for the camera. This name will appear in your device list. Click Add to add the camera to the device list. Click Save to save changes. Click OK. Close all windows to return to the live video screen. The newly added camera will appear in device list. Please note that Synchro V shows a red X icon for cameras outside the local network. This is normal and does not affect your ability to connect to the camera. Click on the camera in device list to log in. Enter the username and password for the camera and then click continue. The default username and password for the camera is admin. Click and drag the camera to the display grid to open the video feed. It is recommended to select Stream 2 when you are viewing the cameras from outside your local network. Stream 2 has lower resolution of 640x360 compared to the 1080p resolution used for Stream 1. Stream 2 is designed to provide a higher frame rate and smoother video over the internet when bandwidth is limited. Congratulations! You have successfully connected to your Synchro IP series camera over the internet. Thank you for watching and for choosing Digimerge for your IP surveillance needs.